Good morning everyone, it's Richard at Sneaker Training. Uh, sorry about the blip there, apparently the stream wasn't actually broadcasting. So I was talking to myself for a while. So, let's, let's start all over again. Right, so, quickly, uh, let's get over the, uh, the paperwork. If you haven't seen a doctor to actually allow you to exercise, please see a doctor or fill out my Park U health questionnaire, which is either pinned underneath this uh, video if you're on YouTube or on my website, if you're on Facebook, it's pinned right at the top of my page. Fill that out, send it to me, we'll have a discussion. Okay, let's get that over and done with. Let's hope we actually can get everything going now. Right, lovely day. As I've said, it's an absolutely fantastic day. Uh, in the UK, Boris has allowed six people to actually uh, gather within two metres of each other outside. So let's not go silly people because there are certain places like in Lancashire where the schools are not going back because of still high uh, volumes of uh, fatalities and casualties. So let's just be careful. So I'm glad that people are coming in and uh, everything's going well. Better, or should I say, better. Uh, oh gosh, my everything seems to be turning off. So what we're going to do first off whilst we're actually bedding in is talk about types of training. Types of training, right. So what are you training for? Are you training enough? Are you training too much? Uh, if you are training just for general health, these classes are perfect for you. Three times a week is fantastic. At 45 minutes, that's well over what the doctors state that you should do minimum. Uh, 90 to 100, uh, 130 minutes is adequate for cardio. Now, if you're looking to lose weight, everything is all about healthy eating. I don't like to use the word diet because even if you eat chocolate, that is a diet. Okay? So, healthy eating, that's what I say. Alright? So, healthy eating and exercise always goes hand in hand, whether the one's above the other. It doesn't matter. Okay? If you are working to lose weight, diet is more of an uh, imperative to you, but then you need the, the, uh, the exercise to actually balance it out, to actually lose the weight more in actually get rid of the actual stored up fat, not the muscle. So that's why you need to work your muscles, so you don't lose your muscles, you lose your fat instead. So it actually goes hand in hand. Now, don't eat your calories after exercise. So if you exercise this class at 250 calories, don't eat a bar of chocolate afterwards. Have a handful of grapes. Okay? A lot of people do it the wrong way. They suddenly finish the exercise, they're hungry, it's actually the first that they need. Uh, then what they do is they eat. They have a protein bar. Protein bars can be up to 300 calories per thing and it's full of junk. All these protein bars are full of rubbish. Right, so let's get back. If you want to build uh, mass or muscle, you need to work different body parts. You need to rest, uh, do different body parts, different parts of the day, they call it a split. So you could do a, loads of pushing exercises, loads of pulling exercises on different days. Or you could do arms, one day chest, the other legs, abs, shoulders, eyebrows, whatever. So it's all a different way of actually training. You have to train in different ways. So basically heavy weights, uh, low reps for large muscles. If you just want strength, you can use light weights, lots of wet reps. Or you can use body weight, as we found. So that being in it, I hope everyone else is actually in. I hope we're all going to have some fun and uh, unfortunately, as I was saying earlier, before the stream had to re restart it, my co-host is missing today because it's, it's half term for her and she doesn't want to do it. We went up Pendle yesterday and there were a lot of, uh, we went up in the morning when there weren't very many people coming on down, let's just say they weren't very nice, they weren't giving people distance, they were pushing past people. There are a lot of people like that actually hiking yesterday, so please be careful. Right, so let's start warming up. Okay, we're going to start by twisting our arms over and 
get those biceps working. Because one of the things about training as well is, are you training for an injury? I have bicep tendonitis just down there. That's because we tend to work our, our hands this way, not that way. So when you grab a barbell that way, you're straining muscles which aren't actually being warmed up or worked very much. They shorten and they become problematic. So I'm training for that. Which is annoying because I want to train my biceps. Excellent, good. Let's get the back working. So elbows into the side and get those shoulder blades back. Sorry about the loud sound. We've got a bin man outside. They're trying to They've been leaving bins everywhere, so... Let's make sure I'm recording this. Yes, I'm recording this. Right, let's go to reach overs. I hope everyone's mental, mental health is alright. Mine, as I keep saying before the streams, I'm very down and it's hard to actually get myself going. And sometimes, when I'm down, I don't want to do the streams. But as soon as I start doing it, I find out that it's absolutely fantastic. And it gets me going for the most of the day. So keep on going. That's all you gotta do. It's like hiking. You pick a point, you walk to it. You pick another point, you walk to it. Try and get to it. Excellent. Oh, this idea of mine, the mats, isn't working. I was thinking, as you can tell, we've got green and pink. Oh, what are we doing? Right, we're march on the spot. I should have, I should have stuck down the edges. So I might have to relay these every so often. And the camera might dip down because I've tried a different way of actually putting the camera up has actually dipped a couple of uh, millimetres since starting. So how is everyone? I hope you're alright. Let's go wider. Get those biceps moving as well. Try and get the rotation with your wrists as well. And let's go. Now, push down, push up, push down, push up, push down, push up. Don't push off though. Oh. Still with my hanky. You'll be thinking, he's got a hernia. Right, let's march again. How are you doing? Warming up nicely, I hope. So I've been working about working on ideas of actually doing other classes. I'm not sure what people want. Uh, my wife said I should do a rep class where I'm actually doing reps instead. But I'm trying to figure out how to do that without equipment. And uh, it's very difficult actually. So what we're going to do is push one way and then the other. Like you try to throw a volleyball or a beach ball. I'm going to turn the music up actually because of that noise outside. Right, so the first exercise, what we're going to do is to do two more stamps. Sumo stance or sumo stance. We're gonna get a nice wide stance. Feet facing 45 degrees, knees following them. Slightly bend down, we're gonna go up and down. You don't stomp down, you're trying to under control, okay? Right, you ready? And we're gonna go in three, two, Exercise one, and let's go. So we're working the hips, the glutes, and your thighs. And if you put your hands just there, in the crevice of your hips, you can actually feel your, uh, your muscles on the abduct ab abductors working as you pull it up. Ten seconds. 
seconds. Five, three, two, two one. one. Change. And let's change. Right, so we're gonna get, we're gonna go to Prince Charming. So get your dumbbells ready. So we need dumbbells. I forgot to tell that. So we're gonna feet together, hands crossed. We're gonna jump out, hands up, jump back, hands down. Three, Every so often two, you can change over. One. Exercise one, two. Try to keep a nice straight bike. Do me tight. Hot day, so make sure you get lots of drink down here. 15 seconds left. 10 seconds. You can see when I jump out, my feet go slightly Three, outwards. Two, one, change. Ah, change. Right. Dumbbells down. We did the Charleston step on the step. On Wednesday, we're going to do it again, but we're going to do it here. So we're going to go kick out, step back, step back, and down. Forward, kick back, Three, back, two, and down. One. Let's Exercise go and kick, point, back, and down. How far you go down, and how fast you do it, will change whether you're doing light cardio or heavier, heavier cardio. We'll change in three, two, one, and change speed. This is where <laughs> your brain suddenly has to work out what it's doing. Three. Two, Gosh, that was a fast one. Change. Right. Okay, we're going to do chest press and bum kicks. So back to the dumbbells. Chest press out. As you chest press out, one foot comes up. Down, other foot. Down, other foot. And you can rock slightly from side to side. Three. To keep two, it going. Are you ready? Ah, let's go. Exercise 1.4. Good. Well, I like the mats like this. Wish I could keep them like this permanently. Ten seconds. That'd be great if I could actually get someone to actually make me mats which are like this. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Change. Excellent. Right, we've got keep your dumbbells. We've got jazzy uh, knee raises. So we're going to go hands up to the side. And you do that. We have twists with our lower body and knee up. So you can put a little bit of a hop, hop, three, hop, two, or you just one. turn. Exercise and one turn. Five. Okay, let's go. I'm going to put the hop in. Very similar to my Golden Lead Warmers Award. Gosh, it's really hot today. I've got the door open. Shouldn't be complaining. 10 seconds. Five. Three, three two, two, one. one. Change. Brilliant, right, we're gonna put the dumbbells down for another new exercise. See the mats are all constantly moving. Right. We're going to involve spinning on the heels. Okay, so slight widening the shoulders width apart. Bottom back a little bit. What we're going to do is rotate two, our feet in with our three, knees. And then rotate one, out. Six. In, out. I'm going to do this off the mat, just like that. What we're doing is working the hips. So, in the Charleston dance, this is called uh, bees knees. You can go out, like they do. In slow motion. If this is painful, just do squats. 
but you shouldn't be painful at all because your toes and knees should be facing each three two, uh, same direction one, each time. Change. Whereas with these knees, you go inwards and outwards. The feet stay forward. Right. Double diagonals for the last one before the rest. So we're gonna go down, hip out. Three. Up, two, hip one. out. Exercise. I'm gonna go down seven. and up. Down and up. Down and up. Keep it going. That's it. Good. Change side to three seconds. Two, one, and change. <laughs> Very long then. Keep it going. Three, two, two one. Water break. Right, water break time, right. Gosh, these keep moving like nobody's business. Maybe a bad idea. Right, have yourself a drink. Big drink. I hope everyone's got something nice planned today. I know we always ask that, but it's always polite to ask. I'm going to try and work out some new class routines. I don't know if it'll work. Might do, might not. Try and use things around the house still. But it's, it's a guessing game whether you know or whether you can guess what people have or can use. Because one chair isn't like another chair. One stool isn't like another stool. It's very complicated that way. Right, so sumo stamp in 20 seconds. That's why I'm trying to restrict what equipment I use. So basically, once you've got it, you've got it. You don't have to think about much anything else. Right, you ready? Five, four, Three, let's go down. Two, two one, one, and sumo stamp. Exercise 2.1. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, pew to me, yes. It is warm and hard. It was hot on the pendle yesterday. Goodness me. 22 and a half degrees at the top. Three, Three two, two, one. one. And the shot's pretty charming. Put my weights, there we go. Remember, cross your arms over. If you don't want to do a bounce, you can always do a step out. You'd be one more at a man's anyway that way. For people who don't Three, know it, who he is, two, shame on you. One. Look him Exercise up. Exercise 2.2. Oh, let's go. You notice, when I bounce, I tend to like to bend, uh, bend my knees slightly. Gives a bit more cushioning in my knees and my hips. I'm going to change my hands round. Whoop. So you get an even muscle uh, usage. Because if you get one spot above the other at all times, you use the muscles in different ways. It's like everyone carries a bag on the same shoulder. Or carries carrier bags on the same hand two, to start off with. Change. Right. Charleston steps, so put your weights down. And we'll start with the green hand, kick out, step back, lunge down. Kick out, step back, Three, lunge down. Two, one. And let's go. Exercise two kick, point three. Step, lunge. Kick, step, lunge. Now the knots are moving that way. I'm changing. Let's change feet now. 
So step, back, up, I've gone too far forward. Kick, step, lunge. Kick, step, lunge. You do need about seven feet for this. Unless you kick. Three. Quite small. Two. One. Change. Excellent. I'm out of breath. Chest press bum kicks. Right, I'm going to check how many's on the stream. Three. Two, Not as many today. One. Don't know why. Exercise two. Anyway, but let's chest press bum kicks. As you can see, my camp. You can see more on my table now. <laughs> the camera is coming down, which means you can see the mesh on the table. Fifteen seconds. I might have to readjust it in the next water break. It's actually going faster. The more it goes down, the heavier it becomes. Three, two, two one. one, change. Right, jazzy knee raises. Any more you want me to see my head? Look. <laughs> so remember, arms out to the side, knee twist to the side. Three, two, one. Exercise go. 2.5. I'm not going to do a jump just in case the actual camera does fall down. Because all you'll be able to see is the table and a sink full of crockery. Well, not full, but breakfast. Ten seconds left. Three, oh, you don't smash your two, thumbs together. One, right. Change. These knees. Remember it's pivoting on your heels. So your toes are going out. I'm going to move this mat forward. Oops. Three, two. One. It's easy on Exercise two point six. So in, out, in, out. So you're constantly bending over as well, sticking your bottom backwards. Just feel it, especially in the side of your hips, as long as it's not painful. I'm feeling it more in my thighs. 10 seconds. Also, I've got a couple right on the back side as well. Three, Three two, two, one. Change. Brilliant, right. Okay, so, last exercise, double diagonals. Remember, Three, hip out, two, down, one. And this walks in this direction. And hip, hip and up. Hip and out. Hip and up. Hip and down. Hip and up. Very hip kind of dance. <sighs> Bad jokes incorporated. And change sides. So that's that. Water break it right. I'm gonna come very close and personal now. Sorry about this. I'm gonna pull you down and stick you back up again. Hello. All right. Is it correct? That'll have to do. That's fine. I'll put it back in the old position now. I've been skating too much.
clap slime and then the Ghostbusters. <sighs> right, sumo stamps. See so if I'm trying to get this straight now. Well, straight for the camera. I'll have to sound like that. Is it that way or that way? I don't know, which, whichever way it is. Right, sumo stamps in 25 seconds. Oh, my. Fifteen seconds. Oh, I think we'll be ready for bed after this. Are you ready? Five seconds. I'm getting them ready in the position. Looks darker. Three, two, 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 one. Ah, let's see what's up. Always reminds me of Hulk Smash. I don't think the whole player's is uh, a sumo nappy. Whew. Excellent, doing well. What do you think of the new graphic? Down there, of Eleanor? I quite like it, I think it really captures us. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Change. Right, Prince Charming next, we're going to do it without weights this time. But we're going to do a step out instead. So what we're going to do is we'll swap our hands over. So, red, pink. Front, green. Three, front. Two, okay? One. Ah, let's go. So, pink to pink. Green to green. Try and get those shoulders mobilised. Try and get your arms up as high as higher than with the dumbbells so you're more controlled ten seconds Charleston step three three two, two one in twenty seconds I think I'm going to have to close the door, I'm going to boil even more. Because that, he's just not stopping. Three. Right, two, remember? One. Exercise kick, three, four, step, three. lunge. Kick, step, lunge. Ah, let's get going. It's all quiet now. Maybe that's what I should do for the children, so just say if I want a bit of quiet time. I'll, say, oh, I'll go live stream and sit down here and do nothing. And change sides. So you, the middle step doesn't have to be a long step back, just to be careful about your surroundings. Three, two, one, change. Excellent, good. Ooh, chest press bum kicks. Yes, the temperature's definitely jumped up about two or three degrees in here now. Hot yoga. Three, two, two one. one. Ah, let's go. Exercise 3.4. I used to, when I worked in a gym, I used to know a few people which used to come in and hide bin bags underneath their outfits to get them hotter in a way of trying to work those calories a little bit more all they're doing is putting extra stress on the heart so for a start you're getting dehydrated so your blood gets thicker your heart finds it harder to pump it so keep well hydrated and try and keep cool five seconds three two, two one change oh. Jazzy knee raises. I miss my helper. Co-host. She's upstairs probably playing on the computer. Three. Anyway. Two. One. Can't control Jill and Kenya. Jill and Kenya. Right, and to the side. Oh, 
Last time through this, goodness me. Feels like the eighth time through. I think if I do some other ones, I think they'll be pre-recorded classes or just exercise workout videos. Three, two, so I'm, one, that's how I'm thinking. Change. So I can do them all in the same days. Right, bees knees. this again. Uh, no I won't. I won't. I'll just rip up the mats. So remember it's spinning your knees. Three, so your two, toes are one, following your knees. Exercise three, and, out, six. and in. And in. I'm going to do a little bit of a hop so I don't ruin the mats. It's quite a good one this actually. A bit more plyometric. Get your cardio working, even though we don't need to at the moment. 15 seconds. How are you finding this one? I'm quite liking it. I came up with the idea last night. Well, actually after doing the Charleston on this on the step exercise Three, on Wednesday. Two, one, change. I actually found out what the name was and I practiced it to death. I still can't do the hands. Really can't. Double diagonals with the dumbbells. I'm going to start on the pink side this time, so hip out. I tend to, if I want to hip out, I tend to put my foot out as well at the same time. One. I find it easier. Exercise 3.7. And go. Oh, why haven't put any numbers down for my core? Uh oh. This is where you get creative. And change sides. So which was that? Was it that side? So that side, there we go. <laughs> Three, Three, two, two one. one. Water Brilliant, break. water break time and then it's core session. I think what we'll do is we'll do 20 pieces of twists, 10 each for the single leg glute bridge, and then 20 ab rockers. Right, ab rockers will need a little bit of uh, comfort underneath your bike. If you don't, you can just do ab crunches. What I find is if you do it on a carpet, you might get carpet burns just at the bottom there, because what you do is you're rocking forward and backwards in a static position. Right, so, so we're, all, we're down on the mat. People who don't want to, you do scissor twist, standing up, single leg glute bridge, you can just go back, back, and with the ab crunch, just come down, rocking your pelvis forward, and just coming down ever so slightly. Okay, so everyone else, down the floor. Oh, I didn't, I've never had a drink. anything now. Right, 12 seconds, so scissor twist, arms out above your head, legs straight, opposite arm and leg, up and touch, up and touch. Three, two, Try and rock one, one part of the uh, four, three times two. shoulder off the floor, so that's one, two, three, four, try and pull in with your abs, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, it's a fun step. Right, into a bridge, bridge position, bring your feet towards your bottom. What we're going to do is we're going to put one leg up in the air. If you don't want to do complete bridge, single leg, just do 20 glute bridges. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to push up, but because you've got one leg, the higher it is, the easier it is. So the lower you put your leg down before it hits the floor, the harder it is because more weight is pulling that way. So I'm going to put my leg up there and we're going to go up for 10. And in three, two, one, and one. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And swap sides. One, two, three. Make sure your legs are the same height. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, as I was just saying there, make sure that your second leg is always at the same height as your first leg, because when you start off with your first leg, whichever one was pushing up is your stronger one. So your other, body, other side of the body is the weaker one, so basically your leg will go a little bit higher, because that's how it wants to work, because it's not as strong. Right, what we're doing, ab rocker. Right, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna put your hands by your knees, what we're gonna do is a rock forward and rock back. Okay, people don't want to do this. Remember it's ab crunch, we'll do it 20 times. So, one, try to use your abdominals. Two, it's really hard to do. If you find it hard, put your hands behind your knees. And then you can try and, try not to go to your feet. I've lost count now. So I think this is five, six, Seven, eight, nine, hard isn't it? Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, and 20. Right, we'll do all the way through once more. Let's just have a quick look. Yes, it's a very good graphic of Eleanor, yes. Yeah, it's one of my more inspired ones. I've got, I've got a new graphic as well for Step Up. So hopefully I'll be using that next Wednesday. Uh, depends on how long we're actually in lockdown and how, how long we're actually can be out of the hall. I might still do one uh, free workout a week, I'm not sure. Uh, it might be based on uh, fit, which I, which I do every Tuesday, but I'm, everything's gonna be in a bit of a whack, and uh, we'll have to try and work it out. Okay, so let's get back to it. So the twist in two. One and one. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Right, what a lot of people do when they work the colour, they only work the front, they don't tend to work the back. That's why I like glute bridges, I put them in quite often. It really nicely works the smaller your back as well and your glutes. Are you ready? Pick you down and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and change. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Brilliant. Ab rocker. I hope you're doing this. It's actually a lot of fun. The rock around the world version I do is I'll, I'll, I'll do it whilst we do this. You can see what it's like. Or well, you might not be able to see because you're still busy working. Right, let's go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Do you see how I spin around then? Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It's very hard to do without sixteen. Oh, you're bloody moving at the same time. Seventeen, eighteen, three, two, nineteen. One. Oh, down. brilliant timing. Twenty. Oh, I hope your abs are as tight as mine there. That's good. I noticed 
rocking around the world is just rotate round. What it happens is your obliques get pulled in a lot more. So you spin round once and you spin round the other way to get the other oblique in. It is a lot harder and it does actually rub to slightly top of your bottom a little bit more. So nice well padded area. Especially one without a zip. I have a zip on this one. So it just really sticks in the bottom of the back. So everyone let's do stretching now. Go lie down nice and flat, fall asleep. Once you've had 20 winks, let's lift one leg up and let's do your hamstrings. I'm going to point my toe to my face now. Three, two, one. Heel on your knee. Bring the other la uh, straight leg up so it becomes like a figure of four. That's why it's called a serpine four. And then hands behind your thigh and pull, or what you could just do is lift up your toe and push down on the knee. So you're, what you're doing is you're working that hip and a little bit of your glutes just on that side. Hamstring stretch on the other side. Three, two, one. Terrible toe to the face. Heel on knee. Raise lowest knee. This one of mine is quite actually nicely stretched up normally, so I have to do a little bit extra pulling up and pulling down at the same time. Three, two, one. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to go on outside, put your foot into your hand. If you can't get to your foot, try and grab hold of the back of your leggings or your socks, or get a towel and wrap it around your foot and pull up if you can't get to it. So you're going to really tense that thigh, clench your bottom, and try and to push your pelvis forward to really get that nice stretch in your thigh. One and change to the other side. There's a nice draft of the cat flap over here. What are you having for lunch? Anything nice? I think I'll just have soup. Right, okay, let's get up. Stretch our arms back. Round those, uh, bring those shoulders back. Tight chest. Try and elevate your chest slightly so you're pulling on your abs. I tend to clench my bottom as well at the same time to actually give your abs a little bit of extra uh, squeeze, stretch, sorry. Let's press forward. So you can see I'm slightly rounding my back, but I'm trying to press forward. If you know Dragon Ball Z, it's like a what you talking? Oh no, that's that's Street Fighter. Excellent, good. And now let's go up. Hat cupped hands, turn over, press up. Three, two. Run. And as she says, is time is complete and release. And thank you very much everyone for actually coming. Uh, I'm sorry about the 
extreme error. Uh, hopefully we'll sort that out and you enjoyed the time. If not, see me on YouTube. Okay, I've actually started putting new things on. I've actually uh, been separating them into different playlists. So there's one for canned workouts, one for step up, one for freak out Friday and one for all of them together. Same as my website as well. I'll do it that way so you can actually enjoy the ones that you want to do. Okay, thank you very much. I'll see you all on Monday at half past nine, bright and early, for new canned workouts. See you later, everyone. Take care for now.